Bot. So today we're gonna take a look at Action Portable Pop Bot from 3A. This is the 112 scale of these robots. Um, there are 1 6 scale of these guys, but I have never seen them in the wild or nor can I afford them. So <laughs> maybe one day I'll get them, but I have never seen like the 1 6 scale of these guys in real life. So this is a four pack. Uh, it says four way set. These are the pop bots included. And yeah, these are the names of the pop bots that's in the box, I guess. So you got the pop bot, the bad bot, Sangriel, and pop bot. So I guess these two are different in character or in make, I guess. I don't really know the full story of these guys. If you guys know, let me know. Um, the only lore or the only descriptions I found was these things are like some sort of bodyguards or I guess private use military type robots. Again, I don't know, but they do come with cats. If you've seen the picture here, there's a cat there. That, again, I don't know why they have cats. <laughs> So with that being said, let's take a look at these four lanky boys. And here are the four pop bots. So I got these guys off of Facebook Marketplace when I used to frequent that. And um, basically this guy was selling these toys out of the warehouse as it seems because the picture he gave wasn't great. It was like a storehouse full of boxes and he said, clearing out old collections. So I saw one description of the on the box. It said Potbot, so I recognize that name. And I put in a bid, I got it, and here they are. So yeah, that's basically a story of how we got these stupid looking things, honestly. So with that being said, let's take a closer gander at each one, I guess. And here's the first Potbot from the four pack. Uh, I think this is the, I'm gonna be wrong. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm guessing this is the original. <laughs> I could be wrong, but uh, the description for this guy basically is he's a bodyguard for a pop singer. And that's what I got from the description basically. So yeah, as you can see, it is a very interesting looking like robot design because he has like this entrail stuff coming out of him, which is kind of cool, kind of gross. And again, 3A's paintwork is just insane with these small guys. Hope the camera's picking it up. It's so lanky, it's so thin that my camera can't really pick up its body for some stupid reason. So hopefully I can somehow frame it properly. And yeah, so you got some exhaust points here. Oops, see what I mean? The camera's like, where is it? It's right here, idiot. And yeah, and it has individually articulate fingers. And these things are light, they're lightweight, uh, but they do have weak ankles. So this guy fell like five times when I was propping him up. So hopefully he is okay. And with that, each pop bot comes with a bag, a cat, and some guns. So this guy comes with uh, this cat. Let's see if I can frame this properly. These things are so small, I can't really see it. But this is the cat he comes with. It has a star on his butt. Don't know what that means, but they do each have their own cat. They also come with a bag that, you know, basically to put the cat in. So this is your typical 3A um, bag quality. Basically it's weathered nicely. It's canvas and it does zip. Uh, astonishing, astonishing, astonishly, astonish, being astonished. <laughs> it does zip, but okay, yeah. I, it's they, these are old figures, but it does zip when I first got it. So this basically goes here, and finally he comes with two pistols or two gun revolver thingies. So you can see these things are. Well, they're both the same, so I just look at one, basically. So this is what he comes with in terms of weaponry, accessory, I guess. Hope the camera's picking up. I think it's the lighting. I can't really capture it properly. But this is the gun he comes with. It rotates. The barrel rotates, but it's not. It's pretty stuck. So. Yep, that's what he comes with. So on to the next pop bot. 
And here's the other pop bot. Now, I don't know if it's similar to the first one. It kind of looks the same in terms of paintwork and all that, but the only difference is, is this hook hand he has, but overall it looks the same as the first one. So this guy comes with this black and white cat over here. If I could focus the thing. So he comes with this cat. Which has a... All of them have like 3A logos on their butts. <laughs> so yeah, he has, a, he has this cat. And of course he has this satchel bag here. Now the, the construction of the satchel bags are all the same. It's just painted differently and weathered differently. So he does have that. And lastly, he has this big honking gun over here. Focus the camera. There we go. So this one is a bit more worn, more like chipped and painted differently than the other one. So yeah. He comes with these accessories. Doop doop doop. On to the third one. So this is the third pop bot. Um, the only difference with this guy is of course the color and he is more cycloptic in terms of eyes. He only has the one and this one's called bad bot. So he's the bad guy, I guess. I don't know. Sorry, but yeah, this is him. He looks more like st steely irony. Oops. See, these, these guys ankles are really, really shit. So so I don't rotate the stool. These guys tend to wobble and not cooperate. So I guess I'll just do it like this. So this is his back. You can see the weathering and all that. The wear and tear. They, they each have stars, so I don't know what that means. Well, yeah, this is the bad bot. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So he does come with this cat of course this one's kind of unique because it's red and blue do, do, do. so it comes with that it comes with this satchel bag it kind of looks similar to the second pot bot but weathered differently of course so he does have that it does have like a little i don't know blood stains i guess if you can see here so he does have that and finally, he comes with these two pistoles. Uh, again, the pistols for these pop bots are basically all constructed the same, same make, same design, just painted differently, really. Let's hope you could see that. Yeah, so this is the bad bot of the four. On to the final one. And finally, we have Sangreal, the pristine looking pop bot. So what I know for this guy is um, from the 3A fan website is he's a Third Reich robot that tears up tanks. So take that with a grain of salt because it is a, a fan made website, so it could be wrong. <laughs> but overall, this is a this is the one of the unique ones, I guess. This is the one that I think I've seen a lot of in one six scale, the big ones. Oh yeah. This is Sangriel. Hope the camera's getting it. Hope the lighting's okay. Hope the focus is okay. So, he does come with this cat. So, it's a spotty cat. It's got spots on him. So, he comes with this cat. I could be wrong. I'm. I could be wrong in pairing these guys with the right cats, because again, it was. I don't really know which cat goes <laughs> to which pot bot. He also comes with this very clean-looking uh, satchel bag. So this is the. It's a clean robot, so he has to have clean stuff, right? So this is clean. Satchel bag. Doop. And finally, he has these two guns which is painted to his color scheme uh same sculpt really it's just um again painted differently camera's getting that there we go 
So yeah, with that being said, let's see all these four in a group shot. And here are four pop bots all loaded up with their accessories and with their little kitty cats as well. This is my fifth attempt trying to <laughs> put them all into one group and trying to rotate the stool, but I can't do it anymore because that's these guys fell like five times already. So if I rotate it a bit, just a bit for you guys, this is what they look like loaded up. Oh dear. I should get one of those like rotating thingamabobs all toy reviewers have oh well so with that being said let's take a closer gander at these lanky boys and here's a close-up of the first pop bot you can see all the grease and stuff on them the wear and tear the weathering the chipping it's a very well very well made figure you can see their cats as well all lined up here I don't know what the reasoning is for these guys to have cats, but I guess robots need cats as well in their lives. So there's a second pop bot. So you can see their individually articulated fingers there. So they grip the gun really well. Then you have Sangriel here. Unfortunately, mine has like a smudge on the name, so that sucks. And I don't know if the fingers are colored like this, or maybe it's fading, but that kind of looks weird to me. It doesn't really match his body. Then finally you have the bad bot, the cycloptic one. This one has the most, like, metallic looking feel to it so yeah that's all four of them in this four pack so with that being said let's stick these boys in the display shelf and this is where i'll stick the four pot bots in this display shelf they tend to match well and yeah aside from their weak ankles these guys are really cool their cats, I put them up here so they have their own display shelf. They could see them properly with these guys. And uh, yeah, that's my overall review over these four pop bots. If anybody knows the lore or the story behind them, please let me know. And with that being said, go get them.